Hey there, mathematicians! It's Justin again. Mia's family is full of math experts, and today Ren's here to help us with our tens. She and Mia were just outside playing jump rope. I overheard them saying a rhyme while playing. It went something like, multiple, multiple, ready, begin. Start at the multiple, never end. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and they just kept counting and jumping. The word multiple sounds really familiar. Based on what we've learned about multiplication and the numbers Mia and Ren were counting by, do you have any idea what a multiple could be? Pause here to record your best guess in your guided notes. By the end of today's lesson, you'll be able to use what you know about multiples and place value to confidently multiply and divide by 10. Have your guide to notes, guide to notes ready, begin. Start at the multiple and let's jump in. So, in their multiples rhyme, Mia and Ren's numbers increased by 10 each time. Huh. Ren says we should examine these numbers with multiplication in mind. Well, I know 10 times 1 is 10, and 10 times 2 is 20. Take a moment to fill in the rest of the missing factors in your guided notes. Ren, how does multiplication help us understand multiple... Wait a minute, I think I'm onto something. Multiplication, multiples, and in your jump rope game, you were counting by these products each time. Are multiples the products you get from multiplying one number by other numbers? Awesome! That means 30 is a multiple of 10, because 10 times 3 equals 30. Me and Ren, we're counting by multiples of 10. But you can count by multiples of any number. Multiples of two, multiples of five. It's just like skip counting. Understanding multiples can help us to know if a number will be a product of another number. And that can help us check our work. Based on the patterns you observe in this list, will 54 be a multiple of 10? Pause and record your thinking in your guided notes. Multiples of 10 are always going to end in zero. After 50, the next multiple of 10 would be 10 times 6, or 60. And since 54 is between those two multiples, we can confidently say that 54 is not a multiple of 10. Multiples, multiplication tables, fact families, we have lots of strategies to help us with our math facts. And it sounds like Ren has one more to share with us. Oh, it's been a while since we've worked with place value. Remember, place value is the value given to a digit based on its location in a number. For example, one on its own has a value of one, one. Let's take that one and multiply it by 10. That equals 10 ones. But since there can only be one digit in each place, we regroup 10 ones as one 10 and zero ones. Let's take that 10 and multiply it by 10. That equals 10 tens, which we regroup as 100, zero tens, and zero ones. Every time we multiply by 10, we have to regroup or shift to a bigger place value. That's because each place value is 10 times greater than the one next to it. And it works with other numbers too, like 10 times six ones. That equals 60 ones, which is regrouped as six tens and zero ones. That digit is shifting to a bigger place, making it 10 times greater. Let's try using our understanding of place value to solve 10 times 8 and 10 times 11. Ooh, uh, Ren has a third one for you to try. 10 times 37? Are you sure? Okay, let's, let's count that as a bonus problem. 
Pause here to solve in your guided notes. Remember, each place value is 10 times greater than the one next to it. So to solve 10 times 8, we could just shift the 8 in the 1's place to the 10's place to make it 10 times greater. This gives us a product of 80. And 10 times 11? Both digits shift, and we get a product of 110. Huh. I guess 10 times 37 isn't so bad after all. Shifting both digits makes them 10 times greater, so it equals 370. Cool. I feel like I can multiply anything by 10 now. But what about dividing? Well, since multiplication and division are inverse operations, it must be the opposite. Every time we shifted to a bigger place, we were multiplying by 10. Maybe if we shift to a smaller place, we'll divide by 10. Let's give it a try with 40 divided by 10. Dividing 40 into 10 equals groups equals 4, which is the same as shifting the 4 in the 10's place to the 1's place. It does work. Now it's your turn. Pause here to use your knowledge of place value to solve 90 divided by 10 and 120 divided by 10 in your guided notes. Ninety divided by ten equals nine, because we can shift our dividend to a smaller place value to make it ten times less, or nine instead of ninety. And one hundred twenty divided by ten equals twelve, because shifting that dividend to a smaller place is the same as dividing by ten. Would this same strategy work to solve a problem like ninety divided by nine? Each place value is 10 times greater, or 10 times less, than the place next to it. So shifting the place value of the digits only works when multiplying or dividing by 10. But we can use other strategies we've learned to solve this problem. Using our fact families, we know that 90 divided by 10 equals 9, which means that 90 divided by 9 equals 10. Remember, mathematicians, we're practicing these different strategies so that you can figure out which ones work best for you. So. What have we learned today, besides the fact that we have a catchy new jump rope rhyme thanks to Ren and Mia? Well, now you know that multiples are the products you get from multiplying one number by other numbers, and that multiples of 10 will always end in zero. You also learned that multiplying by 10 shifts the factor one place bigger, making it 10 times greater, while dividing by 10 shifts the dividend one place smaller, making it 10 times less. Be sure to complete the practice questions and extension activities that go with this lesson to practice multiplying and dividing by 10. Oh, good to know, Ren. Thank you. Mathematicians, the next lesson is a practice opportunity. That means there won't be a video. There will still be practice questions and extension activities, but they'll focus on reviewing all of the facts we've learned so far. Ooh, fun. Then Bree will be joining us after the practice lesson to help us with our threes. Well, until then, thank you for your help with our tens today, Ren. And remember, mathematicians, in math as in life, practice makes progress. I'll see you next time. Hey.